Hello everybody and welcome to the channel, it's Paul Yester here, and today I'm going to show you how you can get into the clock tower of the Midwich Elementary School map from the Silent Hill chapter of Dead by Daylight. Let's get started. So I worked on this today with uh, Earth to Lydia and King, and I have a better understanding of it now. And there's a couple of different ways that this can happen. It can happen organically when you spawn into a match on the Elementary School map, or you can do it in a custom game. Um, formerly known as kill your friends. But there are a couple different things that I need to explain to you about that. So we're just gonna go in a custom game here for a minute. And down here at the match management, it allows you to pick the map, for the Midwich Elementary School. You do not want to do this while you're doing this custom game mode. You might say, well, wait a minute, I wanna go to that map. Yes, you wanna go to that map, but you don't want to force the map in map management. And I'm gonna tell you why. So. When you're doing this clock tower opening, you have to do two specific gens on the map. You have to do the map, the generator in the chemistry room and in the music room. If you pick this for map, map management and apply it, you're just gonna get a random spawn of generators on the map. And you may find that you'll have to do many different tries where you're going to need to try and get the right spawn where you have generators in both those rooms that I told you about. However, if you change it from having the Midwich Elementary School map selected to just all, where it goes back to what it says here as random, you can make the right map configuration spawn for those generators if you put in the offering for the Midwich Elementary School map, which is the Mary's Letter. And you can do this either as survivor or as killer. If you play this offering every time we did it, we got the right generator configuration, which is a huge time saver rather than trying to get the random uh, spawn of the gens to give you the proper configuration. It seems that this Mary's letter offering will always give you the proper configuration. And this will make it much easier for you um, when you're in public matches too to get the proper generators. So now I'm gonna show you the generators that you need to do and what you do after that and what happens when you do them. So the two generators that you need to do in order to make this happen are located on the upper floor of the elementary school. They're in the chemistry lab and in the music room or also called the piano room. Now you can identify the chemistry lab because it has the periodic table on the wall in the hallway outside. And as you can see here, it is uh, behind me on the wall as well. Also along the window, it has all the gas valves that you would connect your Bunsen burners to. This is the chemistry lab. So this is one of the generators you have to do. The other one, again, is in the piano room. You can find that one because it has a piano in it. So um, you don't have to do them in order, but if you want to be true to the Silent Hill game and the, the puzzle solving, they were done in this order in the game with the chemistry lab first and the piano room after. You can still make the clock tower open if you do them out of order, but I suggest you do them in this order because that's the way they were done in the game. And there may be more to this puzzle than what I'm gonna show you here. I believe that there is more to it. You may even be able to figure out how to go through deeper into this puzzle and open up the door on the third floor of this. But this is as far as we have gotten, so I'm gonna show you that now. All right, so I'm about to pop the gen here in the chem lab, and then we're gonna to go to um, Pyramid Head's point of view so you can see what the clock tower does. So after you pop that gen, you can look up at the clock tower out in the courtyard and you can see that the time changes on the clock and it strikes 12. Also, the first medallion appears on the outside of the structure. Um, I believe the, the gold medallion is first from the chemistry lab and that appears on the left hand side here of the tower. There it is there, you can see the gold medallion. Now we're gonna cut back to me playing Survivor, where you can see that I'm now gonna run into the music room and I'm gonna do this gen in here. So doing the, um, the reason why you do the gens in this order is how they affect that clock. So if you do them out of order, you're not gonna end up on five o'clock like you do in Silent Hill. Yeah, that's the reason why you have to do them in this specific order. If you do the music room first, and then the chemistry lab after the clock, I believe, doesn't wind up on the right time. But it doesn't prevent you from um, 
seeing what's in the clock tower. So don't freak out and think, oh, I have to get this gen first. If you just want to see what's in the clock tower in a normal game and you're under pressure from a real killer, just do it whatever order you can. But if you're doing it with your friends in custom game mode, do them in this order because I believe you're going to have the most success in trying to find out what else there could be to this puzzle. Um, in the actual game, after the medallions are done, you see like they go into the boiler room and flick a switch, which we search the chest down there to see if that was anything. We haven't tried hooking and unhooking somebody in there to see if that would count as flicking a switch. Also, the jump scare of the body in the locker is involved, and there's a drain pipe in the courtyard. We haven't been able to find any inroads to those parts, if that is somehow connected to the puzzle. This is as far as we've gotten, so I'm going to show you what we have, and maybe you can take it a step further and share that information with us. So here we go. I'm finishing now the piano in the music room, and again, we're going to cut to Pyramid Head's view outside to show you what the clock does now. So here it is, winding around again, and it's going to land on 5 o'clock, and the clock tower is going to ring five bells, and then you'll see here that the silver medallion is going to appear on the right-hand side of the clock tower and there it is so now all you need to do is trigger the uh, the end game and it can be done either by the survivor opening the gate the killer opening the gate or the killer closing the hatch as long as you trigger the end game then you're gonna see what happens here so pyramid head is going to okay. open and the door trigger the end game which makes the, the door on the okay. clock yeah. tower Go. dissolve and there's a chest inside. You see the the florist, that triangle, the pyramid there, drops down from the ceiling, and it's a chest flashlight. has random items in it. So there you go. That's how you do it. Is that all there is to this puzzle? I'm not sure. You see on the wall there in the, the clock tower, there is... The halo of the sun symbol on the wall, which is different than the seal of Metatron that you see in the middle of the courtyard. So you also see the florist drop down from the ceiling into the clock tower, that pyramid shape. This is all very Silent Hill heavy lore, which is amazing that they put all this into the game. I'm not convinced that's all there is in this puzzle. I don't know what happens if you have a full squad of five people doing this. It could be there's a certain order to do the generators in other than um, the two that I showed you in that specific order. Maybe you do those two first. Maybe you do those two last. We had, uh, when I did it with King and Lydia, there were many, many times where we did a third gen and opened that chest and it was empty. There was no item inside. Every time I did it one-on-one, -on -one, there was an item inside. Every time I did it with King and Lydia, there was no item inside. So I don't know if that means we were onto something and we just needed a couple more people and to do this in a specific order. We tried to look around the map to see if anything else activated in this end game collapse, but so far we've come up empty. Now I'm handing this information off to you. Run with it, see what you can find, have some fun, impress your friends. Hope y'all are enjoying this Silent Hill chapter. Thanks for watching everybody. Take care of each other in the fog. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.